A reading from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord Christ. There was a rich man who learned that his manager was not handling his property honestly. So he hauled him in and said, I don't like what I'm hearing about you. I want an investigation of what you've been doing. You can't be my manager anymore. The manager said to himself, what am I going to do without this job? I'm not strong enough for construction work, but I'm too proud to beg. I know, I'll sweet talk the people who owe my master money so that after I'm fired, they'll give me work. So that's what he did. After his master applauded the manager even though he was dishonest because he was crafty. We don't need to be dishonest, but we need to be at least as creative as the dishonest people are. If you are honest with little things, you'll be honest in the big things. Just like faith, if you are faithful with what belongs to someone else, perhaps you will be faithful with your own. Nobody can serve two masters. You'll hate one or the other. It's like that with God and wealth. You've got to choose between them which one you're going to build your life around. And this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. So if you don't pray with me, if you, I believe the prayer is in the bulletin here. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Thy will, not mine, be done. Okay, everyone could be seated, and I would invite all the children to come. Uh, you know, and gather around here. We could sit on the floor. There's some pillows over here. Or if you, um, if you want to sit on the chairs, that would be good. Just so you can see the screen, okay? So, uh, and, uh, and if kids don't feel comfortable, parents can come up with them, too, if, uh, if you want. You know? So we can just gather around here. If you want to grab some pillows, that would be good, too. Okay. All righty. Yeah, that's good, Nicholas, if you want to go there. Maybe some others will join you then, too. Why don't you grab a pillow and, and, uh, and come on over. Yeah, so if you want to come over here a little bit more. Hey, you know what? You can pull those chairs over this way, too. So you can actually pull the chairs over here as well a little bit. So just round in. Good. Good. Just so everyone can see the screen and, and we can talk to each other a little bit. Okay? Nice. Nice. Yeah, you can have a front row seat if you want. That's a perfect seat right there. Good. Good. Good to see everybody. Welcome. Well, you know, what, uh, what we're going to do today is this. We're going to um, think about how do we put God first. So, how about if you repeat that after me? Put God first. Would you all join me in that? Put God first. So how do we do that? You know, because there's so many distractions that come our ways. And it's hard to remember God whenever you are on the bus going to school or whenever you have a, a, a track meet or you have a sports event going on. It's really hard to remember to keep God first. And so that's why we come to church on Sunday, the first day of the week, and we put God first. See, we, we try to remind ourselves of that. And maybe some of your parents or your, God, or your grandparents, maybe they teach you things like, or they want you to say your, your prayers the first thing whenever you wake up or just, just remember a little bit about God. So that's what we're gonna do. Put God first. In other words, prioritize. So, we have a little demonstration that I'm going to ask four adults to come forward, and I think you're already prearranged. <laughs> okay, so you don't have to worry. No one has to volunteer. But, but we need the four adults to come up here. And uh, you have to watch real carefully what they have here. Okay, so make sure you get a good view. And we'll put them right up front. And then they're, they're going to have pictures with, uh, with some candy in them. Okay, come on over here, you know? So, uh, so right up here, I'll go, go here. And so, that's kind of cool. There's like Hershey chocolates, all right? 
over here, I'm not sure what they're called, but they're, they're sour. <laughs> what are they called, nerds? Are they nerds? Okay, now, you all seen these kind of things before, huh? So that's a crunch bar. That's a big bar, gigantic one. And this is little, what would you call those? Chewy candy? Yeah, that's what that is. Okay. Now, you see, you see they, they're different shapes and sizes, right? So they're different shapes and sizes. And our goal is to see if we can't get all that candy. Now, look at all that candy. And these are the same size pictures. Can you see that? All the same size? We're going to see if we can't get all that candy into this pitcher. What do you think the odds are? Do you think we can do it? Some of you think we can do it. Okay, now, we, we can do it. It's possible to do it if we put the first things in first, the right things in first, then we can do it. So now, uh, we have here these, 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 and these. So, what I need you to do is to tell me which one you want to put in the picture first. Go ahead, let's hear a couple. Go ahead. The nerds. The nerds, so that's this one, okay? Which one do you want to put in first? These first, okay. Okay, which, which one do you want to put in? The nerds, we have two nerds, we have one, whatever those are. Which one do you want to put in? Nerds, three nerds, anything else? Which one, buddy? The crunch bar, interesting. Okay, which one? The crunch bar. Okay, three nerds, two crunch bars, and a few others. Let's go with the nerds. Okay, what do you got? The crunch bar. Oh, we have a tie. Would you break the tie, Julie? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nice. Okay. All right, so three, three of us are happy. All right, now, what's the second one? Okay, go ahead, Avery. These? Okay, let's just go with that one, because if this was right, it gets all the glory. If this was not right, we all share pain. <laughs> okay. okay, let's go with this one next. So what do you think? We're going to do it? Okay, well, we have two more to go. What's next? The All right, Justin. Do it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. So um, the only thing we have left is this. Let's check it out. Would you hold that in front of us? Okay, magic powers. No way. And there's even a free candy, go ahead. <laughs> if your dad allows you. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we don't have the first thing in right, do we? Okay, so now relax. You can all go back. Thank you for your assistance on this. Give that to Ken and he'll do something. And let's watch a little video. Okay, so let's watch a little video and see what happens next.
Did you like that? Yeah. Okay. So, what's the most important thing you heard? What's, what is it? Put God first. Okay. Is that what you all heard? And so, the, the little boy, go ahead. Pray. Pray. Okay, so that's, that, you, you, you're like right on target there, Theo, because that's what we wanted to do next is, then how can we put God first? And Theo said, pray. What's another idea? Go ahead. Reading the, Bible. Reading the Bible. Now, do you all have Bibles at home, or do you have a Bible in school, or something like that? So, so sometimes it's hard to find a Bible, huh? You know, that kind of a thing. So maybe what we can do is, starting next week, what we can do is maybe in our bulletin, put a little Bible verse. And then whenever you take the, the, the bulletin home, maybe you can ask your parents or your grandparents or something, what is that verse? Maybe once, or your grandparents or parents can maybe help you to just get the Bible a little bit more into your, into your, brain, into your brain and into your thinking, okay? So maybe we'll do that next week and have, have that. Like a little memory burst because we don't have what that little boy said. And what's one more way? One more way that we can do it? One more way? Put God first. Pray. Yes? Talk about Him. Talk about Him. All right. So we're going to learn a song real quickly and then we're going to end our sermon and then go back and then uh, uh, Pastor Julie will bring us around the altar a little bit after the piece is over. Okay? So how about if we listen to this song? It's about seeking first the kingdom of God. So in other words, that's a little way to put God first. So it will teach us how to sing it. Then we'll sing it on the second verse and then I'm going to ask all the congregation to get up and sing it the third time around. All right? Okay, here we go. And I ask all the adults to please stand up. And so let's make as much noise as we can on this one.
we don't know this verse, but... This is the last time it's sung, so... Just hold our hands for one minute. If everyone can hold hands. Right. Okay. Do you want to uh, join our hands? With, uh, can make some room for these little guys and join hands. You can, or just put our hands on your shoulder like that. Okay. So, dear Lord, we pray that we will remember to put you first. Help us today as we learn about you to remember throughout our day at least one time to put you first. Amen.